Hello everyone, welcome to the Timeless Tales of History, where in today's video we will discuss Ancient Egypt, the Middle Kingdom. Join me as we journey through the pivotal events, influential rulers, and notable achievements that shaped this golden era. Our story begins with the 11th dynasty, when Pharaoh Mentuhotep II united Upper and Lower Egypt, ushering in the Middle Kingdom. His reign marked a period of stability and cultural revival after centuries of fragmentation. The Middle Kingdom truly flourished under the rule of Pharaoh Amenemhat I. He founded the 12th dynasty and established a centralized government promoting agriculture, trade, and the arts. Furthermore, the Nile River, the lifeblood of Egypt, played a vital role in the Middle Kingdom's prosperity. Its annual flooding provided fertile soil ensuring bountiful harvests and sustenance for the people. To harness the power of the Nile, the pharaohs commissioned impressive irrigation systems, bringing water to arid lands and increasing agricultural productivity. However, the Middle Kingdom's military prowess cannot be overlooked. Pharaohs like Senusret III expanded Egypt's borders, securing trade routes and protecting the kingdom from external threats. Egypt's influence even stretched beyond its borders, particularly into Nubia and the Sinai Peninsula. These territories provided valuable resources and served as strategic outposts for Egyptian control. Amidst the male-dominated world of ancient Egypt, Pharaoh Hatshepsut emerged as a remarkable and influential ruler. She not only successfully ruled as a female pharaoh, but she also oversaw the impressive architectural projects, such as the Temple of Deir al-Bahari. Pharaoh Amenemhat III, known for his great works, initiated the Fayum Irrigation Project, transforming the oasis into a fertile and agricultural region, providing food security for the kingdom. Furthermore, the Middle Kingdom was a time of artistic and literary brilliance. The renowned literary work, The Tale of the Sinoe, and intricate tomb paintings showcasing daily life and religious beliefs are testaments to the cultural richness of this era. However, not all was harmonious. Pharaoh Anemanhat IV faced challenges, including a decline in centralized power and the rise of regional governors known as nomarchs, which weakened the pharaoh's authority. Pharaoh Sobek Nefru, the last ruler of the 12th dynasty, brought a period of stability before the decline of the Middle Kingdom. Internal strife, famine, and foreign invasion from the Hyksos eventually led to the end of the Middle Kingdom, marking a transition into the Second Intermediate Period. And so, the Middle Kingdom of Egypt, a time of political unity, cultural achievements, and military expansion, left an indelible mark on the pages of history. Join us next time as we explore the tumultuous events of the New Kingdom.